today we're finally doing a review on the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. This is the latest one that they just launched, I'm sure you guys know, and I've just had so many requests to do this video, so I'm finally doing it and I'm really excited to tell you guys what I think about it, all the colours, and also I'm going to do a little comparison to the first and the second Urban Decay Naked palettes and how they're different and all of that good stuff. So if you want to hear my thoughts, thank you for watching. So I'm going to start off with the actual review of the new Naked 3 palette. So for the packaging, as you can see, it comes in a metal case just like like the Naked 2 so it's really practical it clicks shut so it's good for traveling and anything like that the first Naked palette it looks good I like how it's all velvety and soft but it's just not that practical and if you are traveling or if you're just taking it with you putting it in your bag then it just opens up really easily and all the eyeshadows crumble so you're not going to have this problem with this packaging with this case also you can see the only difference really is is that it has a sort of a wave design on the top while well, the difference between the naked two and this one which I quite like so inside it comes with a two-sided brush just like the first two palettes and you get 12 colors as well you also get a full mirror just like in the naked two so the 12 colors let me talk about the colors <laughs> that's probably what you guys want to hear so they're all really cool toned pink toned neutrals but they are very pink and very sort of blush colored very blue undertoned very cool they have a really nice mixture of matte colors and trimmy colors and satin colors let me count how many matte there are so there are three or well maybe two matte colors and the rest of them are quite sparkly and quite shimmery the quality is the same if you are concerned with i mean if the quality is staying the same or anything like that then they are just as good quality they are just as creamy and as pigmented they look amazing on the eyes and i would probably have to say that urban decay my favorite eyeshadows of all time they just feel and look so nice and they are really long lasting there are a few colors which are not that great which is dust and trick let me show you guys so dust is this pinky one over here it's really light and it's really sparkly so it almost looks like a really sheer glitter and then actually trick and buzz as well these two sparkly ones here they're not too pigmented either but the rest of them they are lovely as always so i think if you have the first and the second palette and you love those then you probably want to go out and buy this one <laughs> it's already still sort of a neutral eyeshadow palette so if that is definitely up your street then just go out and buy this one. They are all sort of at the similar price. This was 37 I think the Naked First, the first one, is probably a little bit cheaper than the second one and the third one, but that is how it always is. But in terms of the colours, I just want to say that keep in mind that they are very pink toned and they're very sort of cool and blue and purpley. I hope it comes across in the video. I will have a blog post as well if you want to see sort of close-up pictures. Hopefully... I don't know, maybe you can see the colours better there. But I just really want to emphasise that they are very pink. So if you're uncertain how pinks look on you, if you don't normally wear pink eyeshadows, then it might be worth going out and buying like a cheap one from Rimmel or something like that. Just trying it out on your eyes and seeing how it looks. Because for some skin tones, it can be a little bit tricky. I would say this palette is suitable for all skin tones. I don't want to sort of put a limit on it because everyone's different. And it really depends on what colour you are, what tone you are. So I don't really want to say who can wear it and who can't wear it but definitely if you are unsure then just try some sort of pink eyeshadows on first because if you are really pale and if you naturally have a really cool sort of bluey undertone to your skin then these sort of colors they can sometimes make you look even more ill and sort of unhealthy and really too pink and too flush so <laughs> it might be worth sort of trying them out first and then buying it because you don't want to be disappointed but apart from that I would definitely recommend it to anyone if you like your neutrals if you want a palette for traveling or just for wearing for every day nice natural colors that are really easy the matte colors are lovely for blending for the crease the dark one black heart is just amazing for the evening time it's like a black purpley with sort of a bronze shimmer going through it, it looks amazing with a smoky sort of cat eye, it just looks lovely. So there's definitely a really nice range of colours and even if you have the first two palettes then just go for it. If you have the money to spend then just get and buy it, you definitely won't be disappointed. Okay so let me do a little comparison between all the three palettes. If you don't have any of them and just want to know which one to buy then hopefully this little review and comparison will be useful for you. So the first Naked palette as you can see it comes, well I actually have reviews on all of these I think. Yeah I'll probably link them down if you want to see like a separate review but this is just like a little comparison. Yeah. <laughs> so the first one it comes in a velvety case, it's not very practical in terms of travelling but I think this one looks the best. 
I love the packaging and it just looks really fancy and expensive so I like this one for the packaging and this one is probably my favorite for the colors as well because I have quite a yellow undertone and I also have blue eyes well gray eyes and these are all really warm really bronzy and golden which is the best thing if you have blue or gray eyes so this I think it just suits my skin tone and my eye colour the best which is why like as you can see it's all used up. This one also has a smaller mirror than the other two palettes. So the Naked 2 this one has more cool toned eyeshadows. I would say this is the most similar to the Naked 3. This also comes with a big mirror like the Naked 3 as well and these colours they're all sort of they're more on the grey side so this is better while well, for all skin tones it doesn't really matter but in terms of eye colour I would say this is best for brown eyes and green and hazel eyes anything like that just because silvery colours don't really go with blue or grey eye colours it just it's all it's too matchy matchy and it can make you look a little bit ill so <laughs> well for me that's the case anyway so this I would say is better for brown eyes and all of that but in terms of the quality and the eyeshadow colours they are lovely I still use this as you can see they're all used up so I do love this one the matte black colour is amazing in this one and all of them come with um, two sided brushes and yeah and then there's the Naked 3 which hopefully if you saw that maybe you can see the colours a little bit better so it's very pinky as you can see it's very cool toned and just a bit more girly and pretty really. So that's it for my review, I hope it was useful. Let me know if you have any more questions down below, if you have anything to ask about the Naked 3 or just in general about any of the Naked palettes. Just let me know in the comments down below and tell me if you have, well if you bought the Naked palette recently and what are your thoughts, if you like it, if you don't, what do you think about the pink toned eyeshadows. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!